Hey everybody, this is a short video on how to refill the Dettol or Lysol if you're in America soap dispenser unit. What I've done is from an empty bottle I have just got the end from a WD-40, the little thin uh, squirter nozzle bit stuck that into a little bit of plastic and then into some th very thin ch clear tubing now on the end of it I've cut a taper so then it just fits in at, a, at an angle straight in now the best part about this is that a lot of people are either drilling holes into the bottom or they're popping the top off with a screwdriver or other things like that. It doesn't require anything like that, it's just a matter of just jamming into the side where the main soap comes out. So, now, from that, from that clear hose, it goes up a very long way, it's well over two meters high. So, up, 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 up. And at the very top, I have this stuff here, it's in Australia, you can get this from Bunnings or any local hardware store. Uh, it's the Glitz Hand and Body Wash, it's 5 litres. Uh, it's a fairly thin liquid, if you are going to use the this gravity sort of method, I would suggest getting a fairly thin liquid, otherwise it just takes way too long. Now the best part about this is most of those small little refills cost round about uh, six or so dollars from your local supermarkets. This works out to around about a dollar per refill. It's about twenty dollars I think for that whole five litre thing. Now you will need to give it a bit of suction through when you very first start, start it off to start the gravity feed so the tube just goes up from the top all the way down just remember it's a t well over a two metre drop. Now it is very very slow but uh, it will work quite well. It takes around about a day and a half to fill one of those so just let it keep dripping while you use up one of your last remaining ones. And if you just leave them there at the ready, who cares? Just yeah, change it over when you need to. Okay, thanks for watching.